Hi everyone, and this is Andy with Blongo.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a subdomain to your DNS so you can use it to access a Zoho app. Today, we're gonna be setting up book.zoho.co for Zoho bookings and click.zoho.co for Zoho click. All right, let's get started. In the description, you're gonna find an article with some tips that will help you configure subdomains for other Zoho apps. So make sure to check it out. Okay, we are in Zoho bookings, so let's click on the settings icon and then on general. Now click on booking page URL. And now under custom domain, type the domain that you're gonna use. Keep in mind that it has to be a subdomain like book.blungo.co. The book part is the subdomain. Now click on launch. Next, we have to verify the domain. There are three different ways to do it, but we're gonna add the CNAME records to our DNS. Normally, you have to add one record, but for Soho Books, we're gonna add two records. Let's add the first record. Copy the value. Now I'm gonna to switch to my GoDaddy account. That is where the domain is registered. This is the DNS management section. Let's click on add. For type, we're gonna choose CNAME. The name is gonna be book, which is the subdomain. In value, we're gonna paste what we copied before and click on add record. Now we have to add the second record. So back to bookings, copy this text, which is the host, back to the DNS. We're going to add another record. It is a CNAME record. The name is gonna be the text we just copied. Now back to bookings, copy the value, and paste it in the value field. Now let's click on add record. All right, we have added the two records, so let's verify the domain in Zoho bookings. We have to click on the verify now button. And that's it, the domain has been verified. If you get an error message, maybe the records that you added to the DNS did not propagate yet, so you have to wait. It might take up to two days for the records to be fully propagated. This message says that Zoho is installing a SSL certificate, which will encrypt the domain. It will take a few hours until we can use the domain that we just verified. Here we are in Zoho Click. So let's open our profile and go to the admin panel. Now click on custom domain. In this box, type the subdomain we're gonna use. In our case is click.blungo.co. We are not going to click on the check button yet because we still need to add a subdomain to our DNS. So let's copy this value and let's switch to our DNS management. We're gonna add a new record. It will be a C name. The name is gonna be click, which is a subdomain. And let's paste what we just copied in the value field. Okay, click on add record. And that's all we have to do on our DNS. Back to Zoho, click, and let's click on check. This message says that the subdomain has been found. Now we have to activate it. So let's click on activate and the subdomain has been mapped successfully. Now we just need to wait for a few days until the SSL certificate is installed. After that, we can use click.blungo.co to access Zoho Click. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please click the like button. Also, check out the other Zoho videos we have on this channel. If you're a Zoho admin and would like to learn more about how to integrate the different Zoho apps, we made a Zoho One course where we go over how to configure and integrate the top 10 most useful Zoho One apps. Check the link in the description for more information. Thanks for watching.